Remember how science said that multitasking isn't real, that we can't do it? Well, science was wrong because there's one way you can do it and you're probably doing it right now. Howdy folks, Trace here for DNews. Thanks for tuning in. The human brain is a complex and amazing piece of biological machinery. But there's this one thing that we all talk about doing that we really can't. Multitasking. Don't fight me on this. There are plenty of studies telling us that we cannot multitask. Our brains don't work that way. We can train ourselves to be really good at serial tasking or doing one thing, changing gears, and then doing something else and then going back again. But carrying on a conversation while actively texting? No, no, can't do it. Driving and talking on the phone? We're not really good at splitting our attention either. But a new study from the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences finally found the human brain can multitask at seeing things. How it works relies first on how the eye collects information. When we look around, the eye sucks in light and sends it off to your brain box. The researchers call this visual sampling, and it's how we look at things all the time. Humans have a foveated visual system, which means the back of the eyeball has a divot full of cone cells. This is the clearest point in your visual field. Think of it like a spotlight. Your eye casts that spotlight over lots of things rapidly, shifting the gaze across a setting and sending all that visual data right into the brain. We do this because outside of that spotlight, things get kind of fuzzy. We're literally unable to take in a whole room without moving our eyes around. We can only clearly see where the foveal spot falls. The rest is there, but it's less vivid. This foveal analysis is where the multitasking happens. Say you're looking at a menu. Your eyes will line up the foveal spot on each menu item to see it clearly. But if you don't go straight down the page, like a book. Instead, you hop around, aligning the spot with one thing and then another and then another, skipping across the page. What's really happening is your brain is analyzing what you're reading and unbeknownst to you, using your peripheral vision to help you decide where to go next. Boom, multitasking. Serial tasking slows everything down. If you're talking to me and reading a book, the conversation would slow way down and probably be unintelligible. And you would probably take forever to read one page. True multitasking can happen rapidly without one process affecting another. The researchers used tests to determine if the foveal analysis wasn't being interrupted or slowed by the peripheral selection. I always wanted to multitask, and now I found out that I've been doing it the whole time. Thanks, science. I guess you don't ruin everything. If you could pick two other things to be able to accomplish at the same time, what would they be? Seriously, because you can't multitask, maybe first give it some thought and then head downtown to leave a comment about it. Subscribe for more D News and thanks for watching.